Hi everyone, I'm Peter and in this video we're going to take a look at Google's new Screencast app which is coming very very soon to Chromebooks in version 103. Once it's released you'll be able to access it by simply searching for Screencast on your Chromebook. Let's launch this and from here I can see all of my existing screencasts I've made and I can also make a new screencast. So let's do that right now. And then we get taken to this screen and down the bottom part here, you see I've got a new toolbar. This will be familiar to you if you've ever used the screen recording tool, uh, which is built into Chromebooks. And from here, I can do things such as uh, record my entire screen, record part of a screen, or record a single window. But let's leave that on uh, full desktop right now. And now let's go and have a look at the settings icon. So from in here, I can turn my camera off or on, and I can also configure my audio input. On the camera side of things, you notice I've got a nice uh, circular webcam image here. I can make this bigger, I can move it around from either corner, top or bottom, uh, to make sure it's not in the way. Uh, let's just make it a bit smaller again, and once you're ready to record, simply click anywhere on the screen and it will start recording. We then get a short countdown, and now it's recording our video. So then we can jump over to our slide presentation. You notice down here, we've also got an annotation tool. So I can click this and actually draw into my screen, which is super useful, especially if you've got a touchscreen Chromebook or as many Chromebooks now include a stylus, this would be a really useful teaching tool and also a tool students could be able to use. And once we finish creating our video, we just simply press stop. And then it jumps back to the Screencast app where we can see all of our recent recordings. But the amazing thing about the Screencast tool is the transcription it generates. So let's select an existing video I've made earlier. And you notice on the right hand side here, it's automatically generated a transcript for me. And this is really useful for me uh, when I come to edit this, as it allows me to easily jump to different portions of a video by selecting different parts of a transcript. And if I click on the three dots here, I can do things like edit the text. Uh, the transcript's fairly accurate, but there are occasional mistakes and I can use that to correct those quite easily. And I can also skip sections. So it's a really quick, easy way for teachers or students to easily edit a video with very little video editing knowledge. And you can see here, now it's cut out that section down on the bottom uh, of my screen here. The transcript is also displayed when you share the video for playback. So this enables students to easily skip to different parts of your video just by clicking on the transcript. And this can also be automatically translated into a number of different languages. Once you're happy with your video, simply press share. We can give our video a name and then we can share it with others using this link or we can embed it into a Google Classroom. Well, that's it for this video. I really think this new tool is going to be extremely useful for teachers and students alike. And yeah, I can't wait for it to be released. Thanks for watching.